Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just notepad and the command prompt. Today's tutorial is going to be about Java o literals. I'm going to give you an overview on what a Java literal is. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my website here. Uh, www.javacjava.com click on the begin button scroll down to the literals overview tutorial and here we are what is a java literal a literal is simply a value in everyday human readable form now for example the number 58 is an integer literal the character single quote z single quote is a character literal a boolean literal is either true or false the number 123 decimal point 99 f is a floating point literal. Double quote quick brown fox double quote is a string literal. Whenever we initialize a data type variable, it is assigned a literal value. Literals fit into a declaration or assignment statement like this. Data type, variable name, assignment operator, literal, and then a semicolon. So here's an example, int a equals literal 58, char data type ch equals single quote z single quote, there's a character literal, string data type s equals double quote quick brown fox double quote. There are many types of literals realistically there's too many to cover all at once in this tutorial it would take 60 minutes uh, but I will provide a quick overview of each of the different types of literals and then I will go into detail on each type in separate tutorials so let's talk about um, integer literals integer literals are whole numbers that can be assigned to variables of the following data types byte char short int and long an integer literal can be represented using one of the following four numbering systems. Hexadecimal, which is a base 16. Decimal, which is base 10, which is what we use on an everyday basis and you've been using since you were like three years old. Uh, octal, base 8, and binary, base 2. Um, integer literals with underscores. Beginning in Java 7, you can insert an underscore character or characters in a uh, numeric literal for easier to read visual representation. For example, um, you got int a equals, uh, I think this is 5,600,000, we're going to have to count this backwards, so there's three sets of zero, so yeah, 5,600,000 with no underscores, right? So allowing you to put underscores makes this definitely more readable. We can easily see this is 5,600,000. Um, you cannot put commas in your integer literals in Java that that will not compile but you can put underscores in there okay next one we're going to talk about is decimal literals decimal literals are whole numbers of the base 10 numbering system now don't confuse decimal literals with floating point literals contrary to its name decimal literals cannot contain a decimal point they must be whole numbers so for example int a equals decimal literal 23 int b equals decimal literal negative 156 Binary literals. Binary literals are numeric numbers represented by the binary base 2 numbering system. Binary literals begin with a 0 uppercase B or a 0 lowercase B prefix. For example, int A equals 0B, and all these leading zeros are optional by the way here after the prefix, but uh, 1 1, and int B equals 0B, 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1. Um, for those of you that are curious um, on what these translate into into a decimal based system you can really just open up your calculator here and you will open up the standard windows calculator typically in the view it comes up with just like this right we'll click on the view menu option and select uh, programmer right so um, you can highlight the bin which is short for binary down here and you can literally type in um, you know these these leading zeros or not so we'll just go ahead and type in one two three four five one one you can see it just dropped them there but then if we convert it to decimal you see this is the number three if you followed my character 
um, data, the char data type tutorial, you'll kind of get a better feel for binary there, but I will do a separate tutorial on the binary numbering system there too as well. Um, let's go back to binary and type in four ones here, right, this number here, and convert that to decimals, the number 15, okay? Set the calculator aside. Hexadecimal literals. Hexadecimal literals are numeric numbers represented by the hexadecimal base 16 numbering system. Hexadecimal literals begin with a 0x uppercase or 0x lowercase prefix. The numbers 0 through 9 and letters A through F, upper and lowercase, are used to represent hexadecimal numbers. Basically, the numbering system is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. And I'll go into a greater depth on explaining that in the hexadecimal literal tutorial. Um, so you can see the int 4 equals 0 x 0 4, int 10 equals 0 x 0 a, which if you come back up here, right, you can see that the a is actually in the tens position, the b is in the 11, c is in the 12, d is in the 13, e is in the 14, and f is in the 15th position. Okay. Um, See this has 0x14, don't confuse that, that's 1,4, but it's, it's, that actually translates into 20. So we'll bring the calculator over here, we'll select hexadecimal, and we'll put in the number 4, we'll convert that to decimal, is the same as 4, okay? Hexadecimal A is equal to decimal 10. Hexadecimal 14 is equal to decimal 20, okay? So watch my tutorial on that, it'll make a lot more sense. Octoliterals. Octoliterals are numeric numbers represented by the octal base 8 numbering system. Octoliterals begin with a zero prefix. Okay? So int 7 equals 0, 07. And once again, we can bring our little calculator over here. We'll select octal and we'll put in 7 decimal. See, they're the same there. Int 8, right, is basically uh, 0, 1, 0, right? And decimal, that comes out to 8. Octal 11 is decimal 9, and I'll explain the whole octal numbering system in, in a separate tutorial as well. Floating point literals. Floating point literals are numeric numbers with a decimal point symbol included somewhere. Floating point literals can be assigned to variables of these two data types, double and float. The suffix of uppercase D or lowercase D or uppercase F or lowercase F is required in certain literal um, representations, okay? Uh, double A equals one, two, three, four, dot, decimal point, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The D is optional here because um, the floating point literals default to a 64-bit double number, and I'll, I'll go into what that means in that tutorial there, too. Um, Float B 45.9876, should say decimal point, 9876F. The floating, the F is not optional here because that F indicates we're going to make create a 32-bit floating point uh, value, which uh, have, can be assigned to a float. Float is 32-bit, double is 64-bit. Um, so down here we can also tack on the D on the end, so it is optional, it doesn't have to be on there either way for based on the double, and I'll give you some a greater depth on what the D or the F, where it's required, where when it's not, so. Okay, um, the next literal is Boolean literals. Boolean literals are perhaps the simplest of all the literals. The value can either be true or false, and for obvious reasons I will not be creating a separate tutorial for Boolean literals, it's just this simple, Boolean data type, variable name A, assignment operator equals true, or Boolean B equals false. It's just that easy. That, those are the two literal values for Boolean. Um, character literals. Character literals can be represented in many different ways. The standard representation for a character literal is a single character inside a pair of single quotes. Um, I highly recommend watching my char data type tutorial uh, before you watch my character literal tutorial because then you'll have an even better understanding of what like Unicode characters are and how all that fits in there. So um, this is just like a standard way of representing it. Char A equals single quote uppercase A single quote, right? That is a character literal there. Char 1 equals single quote number 1 single quote, okay? 
Um, so, but if you watch my tutorial on a char data type, then you learn that a char data type is in fact a 16-bit unsigned Unicode character. Because of that, you can assign a char value, char variable, a value using a decimal literal, a hexadecimal literal, an octal literal, or a binary literal. Keep in mind the value must be between 0 and 65,535. Okay, here's four different ways to represent the ASCII letter A, the uppercase letter A. Decimal system based, right? 65 hexadecimal, 0x41, octal is 0101, and binary is 0x01. Five more zeros and a number one. All do the same thing, all different ways of representing a uh, assigning a char data type variable, a literal. Hey, string literals. String literals are a, simply a set of characters inside a pair of double quotes. So we've got um, the string data type A, variable name A equals double quotes, the quick brown fox, period, double quotes, semicolon. So there is our string literal right there. String B is double quote, uh, did I say single quote up here? Well, I meant double quote. Double quote, the quick brown fox, double quote. That is our string little there. Um, string B, double quote, jumped over the lazy dog, period, double quote. There's our string literal there. But wait, what if we want to display a quote in the middle of a string literal? Ah, good question. I'm glad I asked that. Java has what are called escape sequences. I will go into escape sequences in my string literals tutorial, but for now I'll give you a little preview of how that will work. String A equals double quote. He told me that was a backslash double quote. That's an escape character, escape sequence right there. Um, and bad, and then we got a backslash double quote again, escape sequence idea. Okay. So, um, let's scroll down here, and once again, you don't want to see me type this in for 10 minutes, so I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button while highlighting this stuff here, and we'll go all the way down to there. I'll hit Control-C or right-click and copy. We're going to go ahead and move the um, browser off of the page here. We'll go down to Start, Search, type in CMD to open up the command prompt, hit Enter. Uh, if you're in running Windows 7 or earlier, um, you can go to start run, type in CMD. First thing you want to do here is type in Java C. If you haven't done this before, just go and hit enter there. And if you don't see all this stuff flash up in front of you, go back to my tutorial about installing the Java development kit because you'll definitely need to have it installed properly to follow these tutorials. Okay, I'm going to type in CLS to clear the screen. CD backslash, short for change directory backslash, indicates the root. Type in MD. Java. It's going to tell me it already exists because I have already made it, but if you hadn't, if you didn't have it, it would go ahead and create it. We're going to go ahead and type in CD for Java, uh, Java again for change directory Java, and we're going to type in make directory uh, literals. Okay, CD literals to change to that directory, and we're going to type in notepad literals.java. Literals.java is going to be our source code file name, also known as a compilation unit and hit enter on that to create the file. We'll hit control V to paste. You can also right click and select paste. Um, so we've got our class here. Uh, our class definition is literals. And we've got everything inside of our code block for the class here. We got our main method entry point for the class. And we've got a whole bunch of um, declaration and assignment statements here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just go over each one of these, right? This first one, this is simply a decimal literal um, right here, right? Pretty standard, whole number. And this is a decimal literal with underscores. This is another decimal literal. And this is another decimal literal negative here, right? This is a binary literal being assigned to the integer data type variable name e. Um, this is a, another representation of a binary literal here. This is a hexadecimal literal, another hexadecimal literal, another hexadecimal literal, all prefixed by 0x, and that x can be upper or lower case. Okay? This is an octal literal 
we always include the number zero in front of all octal literals, okay? If we didn't have that zero in there, it would, this number 10 would just basically be a decimal numbering system 10, okay? And then we've got our floating point literal here, um, and another floating point literal here, and another floating point literal here. This one has the F suffix, and this one has the D suffix. Here's a Boolean literal true, a Boolean literal false. You have a character literal here, another character literal here. We have a character data type being assigned to this variable. Now this is a decimal literal, this is a hexadecimal literal, an octal literal, and a binary literal, all being used to assign a value of a char data type. Okay. Um, string literal, pretty simple. String literal, pretty simple. A string literal with those um, escape sequence characters that I, we talked about briefly here. Okay. So, and then we're just going to go ahead and basically print, uh, display all this to the console here. So let's go ahead and save this out here. Let's pop back to our DOS prompt here. Type in Java C literals.java, so basically the Java C is the Java compiler, and we're passing it the source code file name, also known as the compilation unit. Um, I'm going to enter there. Return us back there, no errors. We're gonna type in Java literals, and we get the, all these values displayed here. I'm gonna go ahead and move them over just a little bit there. Let's scroll back up to the top here. Um, 56, five, million six hundred thousand five million six hundred thousand twenty three negative one fifty six okay you can see the hexadecimal or the uh, binary value of three the binary value of 15 which is exactly what we came up with on the calculator translating or uh, selecting between the two options allows the calculator to translate it between the decimal numbering system and the hexadecimal and very same thing with the um, octal base system here right um, do, do, do. Well, let's see. Oh, there's our 4 and our 10, which are both the hex values. And then our 20, which is right down here. And then let's see, then we've got our octal 7, which was right here our octal 8 value, which is right here, our octal 9 value right there, um, the double, the float, the double, and let's go ahead and scroll down. Of course, our simple Boolean literal, false, true and false, um, char 1, right? And then you can see how this is represented. You got your, um, your character literal right here, and then you can see how we've got the char data type and it all just translates into the ASCII letter A here, represented by decimal, hexadecimal, octal, and binary. And then we have our two simple string literals, and then we have our string literal with um, our double quotes inside of the string literal there. And the, of course you can see with the escape sequences there, the, the backslashes do not print or display there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move this back up here, switch back to that, close out of this, close out of that. And I'd just like to leave you guys with some final thoughts there. Uh, it's really easy to understand certain types of literals as I'm sure you work with, with some of them on a daily basis, especially the numbering system. Uh, it's worth taking the time to scratch the surface and get a better understanding of each category of the Java literals. You will need that deeper understanding in the future, especially when converting and concatenating between diff various different data types. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.